Hello, this is Jamie Romero with Backy Howell, and today we're going to be talking about creating if statements in the Java programming language. I have the example that we looked at in the previous video, the Hello World example, and I'll make some changes to this, uh, this code to uh, demonstrate if statements. First thing I'll do is modify our print, so it simply prints out the word hello, and then I'll add an if statement in. And the if statement, uh, the keyword is if, lowercase, all keywords in Java are lowercase. And inside the parentheses of this if statement, we put in a Boolean expression. Uh, this would be a, a, an expression that yields a true or false value. And so perhaps we'll check to see the command line arguments to see how many they passed in. So for example, if they passed in zero command line arguments, then maybe we can print out system.out.println. We'll print out the word world, hello world. Otherwise, we may, we'll make some changes in a, a bit where if they did pass in something on the command line, then maybe we'd, pass, we'd print out hello followed by whatever the first argument was. Let's zoom in a little bit on the code inside these parentheses. First of all, we have an array, args, and the array has a field, an attribute associated with it called length, where we can ask the array for how large it is. If it's zero, then that means that nobody passed in any information. Notice our use of the double equal sign here. We use double equal sign for comparison. If we had tried to use a single equal sign, then we'd be attempting to do an assignment. We'd be trying to set args length equal to zero. That's not our goal. We want to check to see if it, if it is zero. So we're using double equal sign. So if the length is zero, we'll print out world. Let's make sure that works to begin with. And so I'll run the compiler, Java C, hello world.java, compile my source code into bytecode, and then invoke hello world. And uh, sure enough, it says hello, comma, and then since we didn't pass any extra arguments in, it says hello world. But if I passed in an extra argument, maybe I'll pass in the name John, well, the if statement didn't invoke. It simply says hello, comma, and nothing else. Let's add an else statement in to uh, add the necessary code that would run if we had more, well, if we had one or more command line arguments. And so the keyword is else, E-L-S-E, -E, again, all lowercase, and we'll do a printout. And rather than printing out the word world, let's print out the value of args sub zero. In Java, our array is all indexed from zero, so they start counting from zero. So the first element would be the zero element. And just to show you a little more syntax, we'll use a plus symbol to concatenate a string to arg0. We'll concatenate an exclamation point. So if we pass in at least one command line argument, we'll take the value of that argument and print it out after the word hello. Again, let's make sure it works. So I'll uh, save the file, then go over and recompile. There it is. And rerun the program. I'll run it with no arguments. Then in this case, the if statement would be executed. And now I'll run it with an, a command line argument. And now we have the else statement executed. Well, a brief little uh, interlude here. Uh, one of the things that I think is really important to talk about with if statements is the use of curly braces. I modified the code just now and removed the curly braces on either side of the if as well as the else. For this code, it actually works just fine. Um, the rule is that if you don't put any curly braces in, the next statement, the next line after the if statement would belong to the if. Same thing with the else. The next line would belong to the else. But if I tried to do something like this, system.out.println uh, uh, goodbye, maybe I'll put in here. Well, let's see what the behavior is. Let's see what the results are since we don't have curly braces in place. So again, I need to recompile the code since I modified the source code. I'll then run it. Uh, we'll run it with an argument. It says, hello, John, goodbye. Okay, let's run it without an argument. It says, hello, world, goodbye. Well, if we take a peek over here, notice that whether the if statement was true or false, it always printed out goodbye. Well, I kind of added in a little indentation here that was, was a bit misleading. The indentation is only for human purposes, for us reading these programs. The compiler, the runtime doesn't care about our indents, it cares about our curly braces. In, in fact, what I should have indented it, how I should have indented it is like it appears right now. 
where the else only has the one line belonging to it. You know, we don't, we shouldn't have this code uh, depend upon indentation, or we shouldn't have to be uh, confused by the indentation. And so the recommendation is that you really should put in those curly braces, even if you just have a single line associated with the if statement or the else. It's a good idea to put the curly braces in anyway. It just makes your code clearer. You know, another thing I should point out is that we are allowed to put in an else if statement. If you do an else if, it's actually two words, so else space if, and again, a Boolean condition inside of the parentheses. So maybe we'd check to see if the args length is equal to uh, one. We do something different than if the, the length is greater than one. Maybe I'll steal a little bit of code here. If the length is one, we'll just do what we did before in our else statement, print out arg zero and the exclamation point. But if it's greater than one, maybe I'll print out args sub one as well as arg sub zero. So maybe we'll have a first and last name that we'll be working with here. So let's try that out. Let's uh, compile the code. Very good. And now we'll uh, invoke it using no arguments. It says, hello world. We'll invoke it using uh, one command line argument. It says, hello John. And now we'll go ahead and invoke it with two command line arguments. And now it says, hello John Doe. Actually, I could probably make this code just a little bit better in that there should be a space between the John and the Doe. And so uh, I guess what I could do is concatenate a space right there in between arg0 and args one I'm actually going off the edge of the screen a little bit. Uh, Java is perfectly fine if you push enter after a plus sign here or even before the plus sign uh, to make your code a little bit more readable. And so make a little change there. We'll recompile the code and we'll rerun it with the two arguments. And now we have the space between, hell, between John and Dell here. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to show you today. I want to show you what an if statement looked like, show you how an else if might come into play, as well as an else statement. Uh, you could actually omit the else part if you wanted to, and it would just check for zero uh, length or uh, one length of, on the arguments. Or you could put additional else ifs if you wanted to. Uh, all these are possibilities. Well, that actually concludes our video for today. Thank you very much for watching.